one of our CSS code, you come into your project page. So if you go up to projects on your dashboard, I have to zoom out. Projects. And scroll down to choose your project that we've been working on, which is our practice HTML, whichever class period you're in. You should read that way. Today we're going to work on the CSS code. This is a different language. Um, it's going to make our website look pretty with color and different types of fonts. Um, so that is what we're going to work on today. This is the part one of that code. So you're going to come into your style document here on the gray window, delete everything that was there. Remember, this is a completely different language but it connects to what we did over here. It's going to make this look pretty. So the first tag we're gonna style is the section that is the header tag. That's this section that includes our name. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna type all lowercase header. Okay, that's called a selector. You're gonna open it with the braces. Those braces are located next to your P key by using shift and the key next door to the P. That is the brace. Open faces out, close faces in. We're going to first style um, when it comes to our header. Uh, we are going to style the background and make our header have a background color. So background, we're going to type out. Notice in code.org it's predictive, meaning when I start typing background, it predicts what I want. I can choose from this list using my mouse or my arrow and select choosing that. It will put the syntax, the symbols, which is the colon right next to it. You need that colon. To get the color, I'm going to come to my picture that I put onto my website, click on it. You have these color options up here that are all hashtagged. Please pick the color that you want for your header background. I'm going to choose this light tan color, copy the whole hashtag, copy, and then come back to your background, control V to paste it. And then end that line with a semicolon that's right next to the L key. Every line must end with a semicolon. Hit enter to go down to the next line. I want to move uh, this to the center. So I am going to, I believe, let me double check, uh, text align. Yep. I'm going to text align this to the center. Text align and center and again semicolon using predictive text. Notice when it is two words, there's a dash between the words, keeping them together so that your computer reads them. You can see that that has made my name move to the center of my screen, um, and that is centered on my page. That's all I'm going to do with the header, so I'm going to come down using my mouse, pass line four, and hit enter to get out of this section. So this is one section of CSS from header open all the way down to that close, that styles this header and you can see it highlights it in light blue. If I zoom in a little bit more, maybe you can see it. Um, what is on my screen, zoom. You can see over here when I highlight this, it refers and shows me what on my screen is being styled. That's the header section of my HTML. I'm now gonna start styling uh, the second part, which I want is the um, body of my website. So we're going to style the body. If I look at, and use the open brackets, if I look at my index, the body tag, and if you hover on it, it'll show you. If I click on body, it shows me exactly what the body tag encompasses on my website. That's from open body all the way down here to close body. That's the entire website. So anything I do in this section of code will refer to the entire website. Um, so I want to give it a background color. So again, we're going to use background. And again, you can use the predictive text background. It sets it up with the semicolon or with the colon. I'm going to again come to my picture and choose a different color. I'm going to choose this light blue, copy it, back to my style, paste, and the line with a semicolon. Now you can see the entire website, because that's the body tag, is colored blue. Hit enter and you're using colors from your own picture. You're going to also put into the body, you're going to put um, regular the word color. 
And again, predictive text, enter. We're gonna come back to our picture. This is for the font. So if you chose a light background, choose a dark color for your font. If you chose a dark background, choose a light color for your font. Copy and then paste the hex code. That's called a hex code and end the line with a semicolon. And all of the text on my website should change that color because all of the text is in my body tag, okay? Um, and then one final thing for body, font family and font and family. And from the menu, you can choose cursive and again, semicolon to end. And you should see that your font has ch changed this childlike font, okay? Next one, we're gonna come down to the exit of that so that we're on a separate line. So notice my lines are set up correctly. Make sure everything is spaced this way. The selector is on one line with the open bracket. Each of your properties, which are the green words, properties, blue values, end with semicolon on their own line, and the close bracket, it is on its own line. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and open our next one, which is our H1. We're gonna end with that one today, H1. And all we're doing to the H1, if you look at what your H1 highlights, if I click on that selector, your H1 is your name. I can come back and look at my index. What is in the H1? That's my name, and we're gonna change the font size of our name. Uh, we want it to be bigger, so font and size. And we're gonna choose 75, and the measurement of fonts are pixels, and end with a semicolon, um, and you'll see that your name has grown in size. You're gonna go ahead and hit refresh and save to save this out, um, and that's the code you're typing for today.